is Frederick Keys. I'm a history major, and today I will be talking about Nazism. Okay. All right. The introduction. Um, what I want to do, I want to show um, that Nazism was the method that gave the importance, insight, and ideas into an event in Charlottesville. A couple of key points that I want to go over. All right. The main objective was to take America back and to protest the removal of a statue of the Confederate leader, Robert E. Lee. The second point, there was um, also protesting the laws that Jewish people had too much money and power. Many carry flags with swastikas. Next. A little bit about myself. I'm a history major, 10 years at the Science and Industry of Chicago, a couple of awards that I have um, received. The Nobel Peace Prize, yeah. the Booker Prize, the Wolf Prize. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> we do this whole time. Breakthrough Award Prize and the Albert Einstein Award. A couple of awards that um, I have received. Next. A couple of things, the reason why the Nazism became so popular is the three components that they did. Discriminate, obedience, and hatred. Discrimination was the main thing how they conquered the Europeans. Discrimination was against Jewish people because of their political and influence powers um, in the United States, London, and Moscow. The obedience. They passed a law was known as the Nuremberg Law. The Nuremberg Law was if you was 1% Jewish, that you were sent to a concentration camp that was put to death. Also, if you were Jewish, 1% Jewish, you had to sell your land to, every, to a German person. Also, if you was a Jewish person, you could not have intercourse with any German person. And if you was not considered 1% German, that was considered blue eyes and blonde hair, you was considered non-dominant, um, you were considered sent to a concentration camp in Germany. Hatred. Now. How did they do um, hatred? They, they did this with tiki torches. Tiki torches was considered um, passing to the young to the old. So they carried fire to Germans as marches from young Germans to the old Germans, passing the knowledge on as the young Germans to the old Germans. I mean, to, from the old Germans to the young Germans, and also from the young Germans to the old Germans of knowledge. couple of um, history and background. Hitler, Hitler started Nazism back when he was arrested in 1929. Hitler wrote a book called My Kampf. That was my life. That was Dylan when he was in jail. Hitler also participated in World War I where he was wounded and shot while um, participating in World War I. A couple locations, concentration camp that was spread out through Germany. And this was the number of Jewish people that was sent to death while in these concentration camps. Two million, two million at, um, can't pronounce a couple of these camps. So, yeah, Ashkes. Um, <laughs> one million at, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So everyone gets the message. Um, okay, cool. All right. Yeah. So that's how a um, couple of um, concentration camps that journalists put to death. Now, I interviewed a person that actually was there. That actually, she received a, um, a Red Cross from um, Adolf Hitler in World War II, Elaine Kruger. And she informed me about a couple of things on how the German people was divided. My take it was every German people was against Jewish people. She informed me that was not true. The farmers was for the Jewish people. The rich people was not for the Jewish people. So if you can see, everyone was split, but with propaganda and everything like that, everyone was for Hitler, but no one spoke up because of the propaganda. And if you did speak up back in those days, you was also killed. So she informed me that the farmers was actually for the um, Jewish people, and they actually hid some of the Jewish people 
-hmm. from being sent to concentration camps. But the engineers and the rich people that had money was actually the ones who um, was against the Jewish people and sent them to concentration camps. Um, Charlottesville Nazism. A couple things on how this ties together is because if anyone's seen the Charlottesville um, marches, the main thing, the main marches that they were saying was Jews would not replace us. If you ever saw the um, on video and everything like that, that was one of the main chants that they said. And the one thing that they used was tiki torches. And also, they killed um, three people who died and 19 was injured in the um, rallies on Charlottesville. Um, conclusion is, we as Americans, we cherish the most important thing is our freedom. Um, let's close the remarks. Next um, um, conference will be in Washington, D.C., June 1st, We'll all be there. <laughs> June 1st. Hey, you have a date. Hey, you Frederick, how did you find uh, Mrs. Kruger? Well, this is this is a um, this is crazy. I was on a date and, <laughs> and we was talking and she was and we was just talking and everything like that. And um, she was like, "Well, you know my um, my great grandma used to." I was like, "Are you serious?" I said, "I am actually doing a class about this, and I would love to interview her." Mm -hmm. And she was like, "Well, let me see if she would be okay with that." So she called. And, and she, she's in the United States or in Germany? She's here. She's, she's actually here. She's yeah. been here for 10 years. She's been here in Maryland for 10 years. Do you know where in Germany she's from? No. No. So. What an odd coincidence. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. And so your date, do you still the know her? <laughs> or once you got the interview, well, she, she, I, she, 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 well, if um, 